I was probably a server at California Pizza Kitchen for like a few years, and then they were switching their uniforms to uh, all black uniforms. And at the time, I didn't want to wear uh, just an all black button up. I just felt like nah, I just wasn't feeling it. <laughs> so I, and this was before Twitter was like what it is today. It was I feel like that not this many people were on Twitter back then. So right, I tweeted at California Pizza Kitchen. I was like, <laughs> black button ups are the lamest shit ever. And thinking no one would care or see it. Right. And then someone from their like home office DM'd me or whoever ran their socials DM'd me. And they're like, hey, thank you for your opinion on our new uniforms. What store do you work at? And I was like, oh, shit, delete. Not going <laughs> to not gonna reply to that. And then, but it was too late, I guess. They found some, you. Yeah, somebody from their headquarters uh, like kind of clicked around on my profile. And on YouTube, it said I was from Long Beach. So they called the the general manager of the Long Beach area CBKs and we're like, do you know this kid? And she's like, yeah, that's Tim. We're like, well, you got to fire him. So. How old were you? Um, oh, 20 something. Okay. And they fired me because um, apparently there was something in the handbook that says you're not allowed to bad mouth the company on any uh, public, you know, right. a thing. And also they didn't like a tweet where I said, um, time to go to work at California Skeetza Kitchen. <laughs> they didn't like that. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, in terms of like, you know, um <laughs> destiny and stuff um, yeah and just the universe and and things happening for a reason um the week i got fired from california pizza kitchen i won this youtube contest uh where we had to make like a commercial for hp laptops and i won it was like the, the prize was like fifteen thousand dollars or something like that yeah and that was the first time i had like a big enough little check in my bank account where i was like oh, okay i can take a break from working a real job, quote unquote, yeah. and really go hard on these like YouTube Good. videos, you know? And then I think that really helped me have some freedom to be consistent and crank out some videos. And I haven't, I haven't worked a, a, a real oh. job since, you know? That's, yeah. It is, uh, yeah. You like in, 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 back in, back to the future has a lot of those themes of like the fate and destiny. So mm -hmm. do you believe that in that? Do you believe that? Uh, yeah, you know, I think I think there are things that are um, like your destiny, um, and I also think that I look at it like this, right? I think it's a little balance of of, of destiny and and you control your own way, right? Mm -hmm. I look at it like there's this thing that's meant for you to get to, like an island, right? But it's on you to get there. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you can set sail there and. The wind might take you somewhere else, but you have to keep on wanting to get there, and it's there for you to be to get there. You just got to keep go get going towards it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So it's like a balance, you know? Like, hey, this that's, is meant for you. Yeah. But you have to put in the work. Yeah, that's that reminds me of some advice that like a big director gave me some time. It's like, oh, in in Hollywood, it's not that people don't make it; it's that they quit. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, if those who don't quit eventually will get there. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Look, it's just you know, I I say this all the time too. It's really people get discouraged when um they don't feel like they're making the steps towards what they yeah uh, their goals like their goals yeah. But I think you know, as long as you're making little baby steps even as long as you're working towards it then you you know you're you're going in the right direction you know? right people get discouraged so quick when it doesn't happen when they think it's gonna happen definitely i mean i i feel like i i've been there too like it's like you you want your straight line and this is more like a winding road like mm -hmm. um it's time for rapid fire question rapid fire question <laughs> thank you, sir. Yeah. thank you i'll take it from here andres okay. you take a break <laughs> you i'll fine, take a break <laughs> All right, here we go, Tim. Action or comedy? Uh, <laughs> like, I have to choose one? Oh, yeah. Comedy. Hulu or Netflix? <laughs> Hulu. Wow. Boxers or briefs? Boxer briefs. <laughs> oh, oh. If I had to choose, boxers. <laughs> What's your guilty pleasure movie? Guilty pleasure movie. Uh, Pitch Perfect. <laughs> What's your favorite movie snack? Popcorn. What is the best trilogy of all time? Uh, back to the future <laughs> incorrect lord of the rings <laughs> what actor would play you in a biopic of your life what actor would play me in a biopic of my life of uh, the rock <laughs> oh i like that <laughs> and that's where that confidence comes from yes i like, I like it <laughs> tarantino or nolan Ooh, tarantino <laughs> DiCaprio or joaquin phoenix Ooh, joaquin phoenix <laughs> Boobs or butts? Ah, uh, butts. 
What is the first movie you saw in a theater that you can remember? First movie I saw in theaters that I can remember is um, um, Never Ending Story. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was uh, terrified of, of, of uh, um, those. There were those those like guards. The they had the the their their teeth or something was like yeah. moving. I was really scared. Yeah, I remember that. Uh, what movie line do you quote the most? Probably uh, Nacho Libre. <laughs> um, and there's one random part where he, he goes, uh, "Read some books." <laughs> yeah, go away. Read <laughs> yeah, some books, dude. <laughs> uh, Dom Toretto from Fast and the Furious is all about. Family. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Titanic or When Harry Met Sally? Oh, uh, Titanic. My first uh, boobs I watched with my family. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you remember that one. <laughs> uh, if it's yellow, should you let it mellow? Mellow? We've been we've been letting it mellow, yeah. All right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if your life was a movie, what would the title be? <sighs> I'm 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 debating going for a, a joke or a, <laughs> or, or real, something profound. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> um, uh, um, uh, it would be, um, uh, 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 um, <laughs> uh, 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 hard nibbles. <laughs> Front of the human centipede or back of human centipede oh, with God. Ana de Armas in the middle. Ooh, uh, definitely give me the front. <laughs> <laughs> if you could erase one movie from your memory, what would it be? You know, there's not a lot of movies that I hate. Yeah. Because I'm super forgiving of movies. Usually. Me too. Me too. You know? Yeah. Have you, do you walk out of movies? Or... I've only ever, no, I don't think I've ever walked out of a movie. Um, I've only did once. I don't know if you've ever seen this movie. It's called Battlefield Earth. <laughs> With John, John Travolta. Travolta. John Travolta <laughs> yeah, and yeah, yeah. Forrest Whitaker is the, right. the Scientology. Right. And I thought, it didn't make any sense and I was so pissed and I, I loved it. I thought it was going to be a fun action movie. Walked out. Like, and I worked out. So that's, I guess in my list is like, oh, that's the worst movie I've ever seen. Oh, okay. You know <laughs> what? Like my first thought, um, and I'm such a Will Ferrell fan, so this really hurt me because I was really, I really wanted to like it. But his Sherlock Holmes movie, man, oh, it's, was so it's, bad. It's terrible. It was so bad. And I saw like the reviews were bad. And usually when a movie gets really bad reviews, I'm like, nah, man, the critics are stupid, right? Because like a lot of my favorite comedies have like bad Rotten Tomato scores. Yeah. And so, I'm okay. Like I am, I'm always okay with comedies. If they're bad movies as long as they make me laugh. I yeah. thought that movie was Oh yeah, it wasn't even funny. No. It was just I was like, oh, what is this? I just a had to cringy. Yeah, yeah, both of them were bad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have a, a a question about. So you 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 started doing YouTube videos while working at uh, or I thought you yeah you said that you won that contest. How long have you been uh, doing YouTube videos on your own before before I got family? fired? Yeah. Hmm. Probably around around that time. Maybe okay, like, oh, so you mm, probably a couple a couple years. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I so, think. And then, what's the story? How did how do you get to maker? Because that's not that long after, right? Oh yeah. Okay. So I was, you know, well, I, I've been on YouTube since two thousand six. So right. um, it had been a few years. I had kind of built up my own audience, and then um, so. A lot of the OG YouTubers, we all just kind of knew each other just from different events and stuff like that. And the ma and Maker wasn't known as Maker at first. It was known as The Station. You know, there was this like Avengers Assemble of mm -hmm. like YouTubers. And uh, I remember I was kind of with them one night at an event or something. I was like, hey, man, if y'all need an Asian dude, you know, <laughs> to diversify the mix a little bit, let me know. And... um. And then I spoke to someone who was a, who told me like, oh, look, it's it's more than just the station. It's like a whole thing we're doing, Maker Studios, and we'll be able to provide this for you. And um, and that was like my first real opportunity to have a budget for my sketches, you know, because up until that point, it was just me and a camcorder and a tripod and whatever homies could help, you know. Mm -hmm. So I was like, oh, okay, well, let's let's try this out. Yeah. And um, and it really did. I remember it, it was funny initially, though, because, you know, early YouTube days, people were so used to the cheap stuff, right? So yeah. as soon as you had a little bit of production value, I think my audience was like, oh, man, you sold out. Can't believe you did. I can't believe you're shooting with a real. Oh, you sold out, dude. And I was like, <laughs> what are you guys? What are you talking about? <laughs> Fast forward to now where people, if your shit's not super HD, they're like, what are you filming this on a potato? What <laughs> yeah. is this? Well, come on, guys. 